Hey everybody, Chris Young, Gander RV and Outdoors, standing inside the 2020 Coleman Light Series 3215 Bunkhouse Travel Trailer. This awesome bunkhouse features what I like to call the, the combo bunks. Right here in the back bunk room, we have the single over double bunks right here on the campsite. And underneath this three inch thick teddy bear furry mattress, which is extremely comfortable, you have full size storage. This is great for the guys hunting trip. Or if you wanna do a double couples getaway, you got enough bunks in here to easily sleep four to five people. Now this one right here, which is the entertainment style that I'll, you know, I like to talk about sometimes, you got the jackknife sofa, which is a great place if everybody just wants to come, chill out, talk about the day. But you got the bunk right here that does come down, 300 pound max capacity on this bunk. A lot of times the capacity of those is only 150 pounds. But when you got 300 there, jackknife stuff there, which you could probably get two people, double bed right here, get another two people, and one here, this could be a fantastic entry level camper for that family looking to get out and about and do more activities or for the hunting cabin, the fishing cabin. If you need to set up on a plot of land and turn something into a deer stand, this camper could be a fantastic option for that. Got the shaker style cabinets with the brush nickel fixtures all the way around this bad boy. Good ward storage there. Got the solid wood cabinetry too, full extension on the ball bearings, deep well shelves inside those drawers. Got your circuit breaker panel right there. Pocket door giving the bunk room some privacy here. And if you notice, it's extra large. A lot of times the pocket doors start about right here or double shoulder width. This one, this is an adult style bunk room right here. Coming to the main living and entry area, you got a pantry. As soon as you enter into the living area from the rear, plenty of storage space and shelving space there. You even have the ward bar right there. Got your control panel right here, which is where you can cut on the water pumps, the heaters, the lights, check the battery, see how, see how we're doing with the fresh tank and the gray tanks, the black tanks, all that stuff, easily accessed. Move into the living area, you got a super slide housing, a theater seats, recliners, with the shaker style cabinets with the frosted glass inlay right there, giving you some really good storage up above. This is the lakeside decor, so when you look on the valances and you see this, a fantastic mix of light and dark, giving us a really good residential feel to this travel trailer. And yes, you open up that window, kick those chairs out, you could sleep there. U-shaped dinette, a great space if you wanted to eat, entertain, play the card games, play the board games, talk about the hike, bike, hunt. Because I mean, let's, let's be honest, when was the last time you reconnected with the people in your life? I mean, when was the last time you got out and just had fun, got away from everything? Get away from the cell phones, get away from all the connectivity, the internet, and just reconnect. This is a fantastic camper to do that. But if you did need to connect, they do have the 4G LTE Wi-Fi extender in all the Coleman's. Large bay windows on these bad boys too. L-shaped kitchen when we come over here on the campsite. You got the deep well stainless steel farmhouse style sink with the brush nickel high rise faucet and sprayer handle. Got the actual panel for the uh, subway tile. That's not just an adhesive uh, strip that they put on there. That's an actual panel. Plenty of storage up top too. And I like how all the appliances match. The gray stones, the black on black, that just looks really nice and clean. LED accent lights on the control, oven there, and a true grill style cover for the three burner stove. And you have a seven cubic foot fridge in this one, giving you plenty of space for those meals, those drinks, when you wanna do those long weekends, the family getaways. Automatic switch between electric and gas on this as well. And you come over to the entertainment center, right below the 13,500 BTU air conditioner, which is gonna do a great job cooling this unit. You got a fantastic little entertainment center with its own fireplace that has the LED crystals uh, or LED backlit, the blower, this does a great job of heating this unit. So you wouldn't really need to run the furnace uh, if you had that going. You got plenty of storage, Furion Command Center right there. Uh, the other feature I liked about this 3215 was the pass-through bathroom, a true pass-through bathroom. Come on up in here, Bobby. Check this bad boy out. So, got hangers for your robes, your backpacks, your towels, plenty of room foot flush on the toilet, got storage underneath, extra shelving, deep well single basin sink. This is a family enjoyable camper. Got the power port there, mirrored vanity, 
But the thing that blew me away, the glass shower with the herringbone surround and extra large skylight. Now, the only thing is you got to watch out for the entry into the shower. A little bit tight with the toilet right there, but still with this extra large skylight that has the inlay giving me plenty of natural light, you really don't even need the lights on during the day. And you have the shower like right there. We just cut the lights off. Can you tell? No. And I can still see and have enough room to take care of all the business and handle everything in this glass shower. Extra large doorway, once again, full walk around master suite with storage under the bed. So if you're gonna do those hunting trips, those fishing trips, you need a spot for the gear inside the camper, under the bunks, under here, uh, under the jackknife sofa, fantastic options. Mirrored wards on both sides with the extra large nightstands that have the drawers, the dual USB charging ports and power ports. So if you had a, a reading light, CPAP machine, uh, plenty of space, plenty of power options right there. LED light for reading. And you got the shaker style cabinets with the frosted inlay right here. Even have your own separate uh, ceiling fan and, or a ceiling vent right there. An LCD mounting bracket if you wanted to put a TV in the master bedroom. I'm just not a fan of if I'm laying one way, having the TV perpendicular. That's just me. A lot of people do it. It's fine. I, I just, just a personal preference. I just don't like them being there. I'd rather it be over here on this side. But with a solid pocket door, you're not going to put a TV anywhere there. So fantastic option for that couple or that family that's looking to have something a little bit roomier, a little bit nicer, but still entry level, affordable, and get bang for the buck. This 3215 Bunkhouse Coleman fantastic option you even have your own entryway into the master bedroom here so you wouldn't have to disturb the kids if you wanted to go for that moonlight stroll or get up super early because that's when the big ones bite we've seen the inside now let's go check out the outside all right everybody here we are on the outside of the coleman light 3215 bh fantastic entry level family travel trailer you saw how nice it was on the inside let's check out the outside Got the laminated walls, fiberglass all the way around this camper, and you have that R7 foam core uh, insulation on the inside with the aluminum frame. Mini diamond plated rock guard up front, two 20 pound LP tanks, one of the essentials when you're talking about having a travel trailer, power tongue jack, LED light, setting up just makes life so much easier. Come around to the campsite. If you do have solar panels, you got your quick connect plugged right there. True pass through storage, which is finished off and comes with its own lights. This is a great spot for those rifle cases. If you got the really nice rods, you don't want them banging around on the inside. You could easily put those in here, beach towels, beach chairs, the whole thing, fantastic storage right there. Enclosed underbelly on this 3215 and power leveling jacks in the front and the rear. We got ourselves a 14 foot awning with LED light strip underneath. That looks like it might be 18 feet, actually. Got the fold upstairs going into the master bedroom here. Grab handle there. Back of the furnace, fresh water connection, cable and power. So if you want to set up for some outside entertainment, you absolutely could. Or if you just want to plug in the boom box, put that on your shoulder while you grill, charge your phone, got the whole nine. Back of the fridge, dual axle on these 15 inch rims and those are the easy lube axles you have a little bit extra space in there too making that ride and that suspension just a little bit more equally distributed got the adjustable grab handle with, which is the extended one here you can move that in and out also helps keep the door closed while in transit solid steps one of my favorites besides the magnetic anti-slam doors the exterior kitchen when you come back from fishing and you want to clean that thing and get ready to grill it, this is a great spot to do that in. You even have a mini fridge to store your drinks or to store the fish that you caught, the game that you just got. These are fantastic to have, especially when dealing with the family. That's the little LP connection right there. Got your rear leveling jacks right here. And as you can see, everybody's on the highway trying to come get one of these Coleman's. That's why it's so busy here. 4x4 four four sewer hose storage right there. Shower external with the hot and cold. Great to make sure you don't track all that crap on the inside. Got sealed to safety glass all the way around this camper. These are set up for backup camera, plus they have the arch ceilings, making sure that the elements are gonna stay off this camper. And those little three inch nozzles are gonna make sure they don't stay on you when it falls off. 
full size spare. Come around to the off camp side and we're gonna just gonna take a look underneath, make sure I'm not missing anything. You do have your 50 amp service and a cable plug right there in between the slides. You just gotta be careful when setting up uh, and tearing down. Just make sure you don't try to squeeze in between the slides. Run the slides in first. Come around over here to the dump controls. The dump station, you got your gray and your blank and your black tanks. Uh, the handles are color coded as well. And as you can see, it's extended and it's not under the slide. So a lot easier to get to. Black tank flush right here, city water connection right there. Other side of the pass through storage. And one of the most important things with any travel trailer, any camper that you look at, the info panel. How much does this vehicle weigh? For example, unload it. This one's 7,700 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, we're looking at almost 9,700 pounds. Talk to your RV specialist at Gander RV and Outdoors and ask them, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Help me figure out the best RV for me. But if you're a family or you're looking for a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin, and you need enough room to sleep kids, adults, and have some amenities from home, affordable and get bang for your buck. This 3215 2020 Coleman Light travel trailer is a fantastic option for you to check out. Only thing I would have changed, toilet placement. Just makes it rough getting in and out of the shower. Other than that, this one's great. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. What'd you like of the space? Did you like the style? Could you see yourself using this camper? If so, where would you take it? Like and subscribe. I love hearing from you and we love keeping you updated. I'm Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you soon. And as always, come check out a camper. I'll see you.